Good afternoon. Thank you very much. My name is Robert Garcia. I am Executive Director and Counsel of the City Project in Los Angeles, California. And we have focused for many years on equal justice, democracy, and livability for all, helping to create parks and open space in the most underserved communities, and also keeping existing open space open for all. Uh, we are very proud. We are very proud and honored to work with the Ahachaman people. Um, the TCA cares more about pocket mice than about the Ahachaman people. They have spent more time analyzing the impact of this road on pocket mice than the Ahachaman people. And we uh, appreciate the presentation by the staff, which explicitly points out that the TCA has not said anything about the impact on people of the toll road. And the TCA has not considered um, uh, the alternative of avoidance. Um, but we, not, we do not speak solely. Uh, we don't, do not work solely with the Ahachman people. We are very proud of the diverse and growing alliance that has come together to save Banhe and save San Onofre. It includes uh, the United Coalition to Protect Panhe, uh, a Native American alliance. It also includes Bernard Bruce of Bruce's Beach, whose family resort at the beach was destroyed by Manhattan Beach through women's domain. The alliance includes Robert Bullard, who many people consider the father of the environmental justice movement from the Environmental Justice Resource Center at Clark Atlanta University. It includes the National Latino Congreso, which explicitly adopted a resolution asking for every federal, local, and state agency to do everything necessary to save Panhe and save San Onofre and stop the toll road. It includes uh, the National Hispanic Environmental Council, Mujeres de la Tierra, Anahuac Youth Association, and eight other Native American groups throughout California, and the growing national uh, alliance of civil rights and environmental justice uh, organizations. And it's appropriate that this diversity of support exists to save Panhe and save San Onofre because of the 2.4 million people who visit San Onofre every year. 88% of the campers to San Mateo Campground come from California. Of those campers, 93% come from the counties with the greatest need for open space, measured in terms of childhood obesity, excuse me, measured in terms of the fewest acres of parks per thousand residents and the highest levels of childhood obesity, youth, uh, poverty, and people of color. We have mapped that. It is Exhibit 26 in the materials that we submitted today, supplementing our January 21 materials. This site has a special meaning to the Ahachiman people, but it also has a special meaning to all the people of California and the United States. To the Ahachiman, it is special because many of them trace their lineage directly to Panhe, a village that is 8,000 years old. Um, it is a sacred site because people are buried there, the ancestors are buried there, but it is also a living site. It is not just an archaeological site with a history. It is where the ancestors' walk has started for the last 11 years, going from uh, Panhe to six or seven other sacred sites nearby. It is where a song fest was held last week. It is where they go the same way that if you were going to a church or a cathedral or a synagogue. But it is not special just to the Ahachman people. The first contact between the Spanish explorers, the Catholic missionaries, and the Ahachman took place at Banhe in 1769. The first baptism in California took place at Banhe. The Ahachman people built San Juan Capistrano Mission. And I pray that nobody would think to run a toll road through, through San Juan Capistrano Mission, and they should not run a toll road through Panje. Coastal Act Section 30244, for the reasons stated in the staff report, would be violated by this toll road. First of all, as the staff reported, the toll road is essentially adjacent to the sacred site. The figures we've seen are within 20 feet of the sacred site. You can't have a sacred site and a ceremonial site and a cultural site with a sound wall 20 feet away and a six-foot highway on the other side of that sound wall. 
Second, it is the only place where the Ahachman people have a legal agreement with the Marines to practice their religion and their culture. And third, excavation is not acceptable as a mitigation a measure for burial sites. Only preservation is. The Ahachman stand to lose something that nobody else does. The Ahachman people will lose an ancient village, <clears throat> a current sacred site, spiritual site, cultural site, ceremonial site, and burial ground. No one else will. That viol it would violate section 30244, the Coastal Act, to put a toll road there. It would also violate the laws that provide for equal justice for all. We've outlined those laws extensively in our January 21 comments, Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and the parallel California provisions of the civil rights laws. The Hachman people would be harmed in ways nobody else would be. With all due respect, this commission is obligated to apply the equal protection of the laws in addition to the Coastal Act. And finally, the people of California are entitled to affordable, accessible recreation. Working, the working poor, low-income people, people of color, disproportionately lack the resources to pay for a toll road, to pay the toll on a toll road, either for recreation or commuting purposes. And finally, it would set a precedent to run a toll road through the state park. There is already talk of roads and transportation quarters through other existing state parks. We fought for years to create the Los Angeles State Park at the cornfield in Los Angeles and the Rio de Los Angeles State Park along the Los Angeles River. There is already talk about running a high-speed train through each of those um, parks. Um, in Baldwin Hills, we, have, we are submitting today a letter from Senator Mark Ridley Thomas. We have fought arm in arm with a community in the Baldwin Hills to stop a toll, excuse me, stop a power plant in 2001, stop a garbage dump in 2003, uh, persuade the governor not to cut off the budget and end that conservancy in 2005, fight oil wells there without an EIR in 2007. So Senator Mark Ridley Thomas understands, as well as anybody does, the need to protect Parkland, and he is submitting a letter asking you to save Panhin, save San Onofre, and stop the toll road. And finally, as I said earlier, Bernard Bruce, whose family lost everything through eminent domain in Manhattan Beach, the only black resort where blacks could go in the 1920s and 30s, has written, please don't let what happened to my family and thousands of African-American families at Bruce's Beach happen to the Ahachiman people, their sacred site, Panhe, San Onofre Beach, and the millions of people who are enriched by the natural, cultural, and historic resources located at San Onofre. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.